This range is unique in Denmark and maybe in Europe. It offers hunters, not target shooters, a chance to hone their skills and then put them to the test. Which is why this event, hosted by Zeiss, attracts hunting journalists from all over Europe to throw a lot of rounds downrange and look like Clint Eastwood. To make Max feel more at home in his home country, we have brought a Field Sports Britain comfort blanket, Mr Roy Lupton, who can no longer say we don't take him anywhere. Looking forward to it, we've got some really good guys here and I think it's going to be um, a, yeah, a bit of a debacle over the next couple of days. He has a day to play with a new Zauer 101 topped by a Zeiss Victory HT scope with ASV plus new windage compensator and he has an unlimited supply of free RWS ammo which not only has green credentials but is pretty good at spreading greenery across the Danish countryside. In this test we see a melon being hit first by a competitor bullet, then the RWS EVO bullet at a simulated range of 200 metres. How do you like them melons? Blended, I hope. It's not long before the friendly banter starts. Roy and Max have a melon off. Hang on, let me stand on something. <laughs> Go on. Freestanding, five rounds. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you where I'm start, okay? Five rounds, yeah? Five rounds. Okay. Okay, I start on the right. <laughs> Say when then. Wait. <laughs> 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 ah! 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 <laughs> Skipped wow. it. How did it go, Roy? All right, come on, let's go again. More melons. Yeah. Before it gets too fruity, let's talk to the man from RWS about the Green Revolution. They believe that they're ahead of the game if hunters want to or have to bin the lead and take to the tin. The melon really is a short-term effect. You can see very quickly what happens to the animal, what brings it down. You can feel the brutal force. You can feel the dust of the, uh, the rain of the melon all over the place. It's really a, a fruit punch there. Everything in the circle of like 15 meters, so that really uh, brings the message over very impressive, I think. Ammunition companies are traditionally, well, traditional in outlook, but as pressure mounts from many sides these days, they have to be light on their feet. It's quite a challenge to do it, and uh, especially when you have the time pressure. And another challenge, of course, is that, uh, that um, the requirement only comes out of certain markets, while other markets still want traditional products. So you have to make, you have to drive like two lanes. One is the lead-free channel, and one is the, the regular traditional lead channel. So it, it really duplicates the amount of products you have to have on the market. As well as well, melons, there are also soap blocks to show the green power. I don't think there's any chance of dodging that lot, Mark. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Another useful demo is showing how two green bullets compare at distance. Here, the unnamed competitor behaves oddly at the simulated range of 200 metres, creating a uniform wound channel. We've got to make sure that we point out this was a competitor's um, bullet, but this was at 200 metres, and you can see with the drop in velocity, the actual round itself hasn't expanded, so there's no mushroom effect, there's no breakup effect. It's just acting um, almost like a, a full metal jacket bullet and pass all the way through. This event is the brainchild of Armin Dobat. The man from Zeiss competes in field shooting and has won silverware in this discipline. He thinks it puts all the kit from all the manufacturers on show here under the microscope and there's nowhere for any of them to hide. We got brilliant stuff and, and it's perfectly in place here in Ulfborg because we got the stuff fitting for everything, fitting to every needs. So therefore we dare to shoot with the same optics driven hunt uh, simulations like the running Tusker or the running stack at the same time with long range shooting up to 600 meters. You don't have every time a bench rest with you when you're hunting and not everything is standing broadside for an hour. So you have to be fast, you have to be flexible and this is what you train on a field shooting competition. So this year we brought uh, 40 rifles from Sauer and we brought uh, 49,880 rounds and this is pretty much unique and well probably the reason why this is uh, yeah, only happening one time a year and uh, but people are looking forward to it. 
One of the fun stands has a hint of cowboy about it. Underlevers and pistols are fun and Roy makes shooting this Glock look easy. It isn't. Someone give that man a cuddly toy. For a more traditional yet tough test, it's the running deer and ball targets, separating the men from the boys. And it's quite easy to run out of room. We're using the semi-auto 303 Zauer, not legal in the UK but very popular on the mainland. It's the 101 that everyone's talking about. It's been a great success and even the Zauer boys find a little 101 time on the trip up here from Germany. And uh, yeah, we shot a wild boar and uh, a mother hound. And so for me it was good, it uh, was an opportunity to, to come home. Sebastian is barely out of Clearasil, showing this rifle appeals both to the cool youth and the long in the tooth. So it's an entry level rifle, it's a perfect present what a, uh, what a father has to buy for his son. Maybe for, when, for, for Christmas, but you can buy it earlier as well. It's all light-hearted and friendly, but all these guys would like to put in a good performance. Last year's winner is Ulf Lindroth, foxing expert from Sweden. Bad news for Ulf, he's made a schoolboy error on the first stand. Yeah, we ended up at 540 in a strong side wind yesterday, and I didn't readjust the sights, so shooter's error, definitely. To make up for it, Ulf explains his technique of shooting accurately out to 580 metres free hand. I will just say that again. 580 metres free hand. For the free hand shooting, I try to not hold it still, but I, I sort of try to fall into the target real slow and then just push just before I'm where I want to hit. So I really don't try to shoot it still, but sort of falling. You don't really get the feeling that you're in the target but that you're going into it, that's the important part, and the trigger control. But today has not been that great so far, so we'll see. So here he goes. I didn't see that one. No, there, it went down. That's one, and that's two. <laughs> nice. <laughs> not to be outdone, Max has a bash. He chooses to shoot directly at the target, not falling into it. He too makes the shot. <laughs> With these guys shooting like this, it's going to be a tough test of marksmanship. So, how's Roy doing? Actually, really well. We catch up with him in the forest, playing a game of out of Africa with the big guns. And we later discover he's outshot everyone on the driven game stage. No, I've never done a proper uh, simulated running target, so we've, we've obviously played about with the air rifles and a little bit of that, but uh, shooting balloons on the back of an RC car, but uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is certainly a new experience for me. So I was hoping Max was going to show me the way and, and you know, teach me a little bit, but... I did. Okay. I've got to shoot at the bum. Yeah, the bum. Oh, always in the bottom. You have to. I've got, I've, got to, I've got to emulate. Okay, no problem. The guys are expected to use the sticks, high seats, kneeling, standing, and resting on a smart Harkiller backpack and stool combo. The company is also here showing its pretty products. There are not many stalkers who don't have Harkiller on their wish lists. Like the other top brands here, they are in the business of reinventing the wheel. Well, the boots at least. Well, one of the things that's very important to us is always to keep on the forefoot of what's happening. Uh, so we are always trying to, to innovate our products. We are now launching a new boot, a Kevlar boot, that is made of, uh, well, the same material as Bulletproof West. That will really uh, last forever and ever, and you can, you can wear them at, in, in all kinds of uh, challenging hunts, mountain hunts, drive hunts, whatever you need them for, and they will last you forever. Uh, and, and will also, of course, have the functionality and the, the comfort that you need. Thousands of rats have headed downrange here in Denmark. There are big smiles and sore shoulders, but we have our winners. Doing it for the UK is Chris Parkin. Roy comes forth having, he claims, been given some bum information by a fellow competitor on one of the stages, losing him 40 points. So watch out, Mr Maximus Hunt. Roy's coming for you.